Hello, hello. Welcome, everyone. Um, thank, thank you so much for this video. We are hoping that more people will join. This is going to be like a short celebration. We had wanted to organize like an interesting celebration, but uh, because of the time and then also the location of different committees, we have decided to uh, make it more uh, participatory so that all committees can join, irrespective of their geographic location. And we also want to make sure we are connecting from wherever we are. We don't necessarily have to be at one place, especially if only two people are allowed to attend. So we increase participation and also uh, make sure all committee members have the chance to participate. We decided to resort to online as it's one of the components that we use to reach our committee members. So I hope that your network would be able to stay uh, and you'll be able to join the celebration from now to the end. So we are hoping that there won't be any uh, disruption as far as connectivity is concerned. And once again, welcome everyone. So this is a community that is made up of uh, the Dagbani Wikimedia Social Group, the Juni Wikimedia Social Group Community, the Daga Wikimedia Community, the Kusa Wikimedia Community, and then the Mori Wikimedia Community. So um, I'm very excited. I think we are meeting again for the first time in 2024. So I'm so excited that all of us made it to 2024. <laughs> we hope that we'll be seeing ourselves even more um, this year. So I would not want to waste much of your time. We are going to make it very quick. So the purpose of connect with all our community. Uh, well, I forgot to mention there is also uh, King USC UT Club and then uh, Pro Technical University and then Baga Baga College of Education. So we are hoping that some of their members will join. So as we are here, just be aware that <laughs> we have uh, about six committees joining. And we are also making the recording available. So if you don't want to be in the recording, you can just keep your camera off, but if you you want to, you, you don't mind doing the uh, video, you can just turn on your video. And also to save bandwidth, I think you can keep your camera off until when you are ready to speak. I think that would be very uh, much helpful. And maybe we should introduce ourselves. As I said, I'm very excited to be connecting with you again after our last uh, end of year get together. Um, my name is Alex Sohadi, currently serving as the executive director for the Dagbani Indian Social Group. And how do I, I will nominate whoever I see on my right side. So when I nominate you, mention your name, your community, and then your role, either a volunteer or other roles that you, 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 um, you occupy within your community and probably maybe your profession. So I would start with um, Ada Kudugu Awini Isaac. You have the mic now. Feel free to tell us who you are. Thank you. I am Awini Isaac Ada Kudugu. Uh, from the Kusal Wikimedia Community Communication Lead. Thank you. Where are you joining us from? I'm joining you from Nakom, Fustiga District, under the Upper okay. East Region. Okay, so yes. also nominate whoever you see on your screen from the top. 
Okay, Awem Botsima. Yeah, um, hello everyone. Good evening. My name is Ruth Abofokan. Yeah. Um communications lead for Gronic Media Community. And then I'm joining this call from um Somali Ghana. Nice meeting you all. So um I would nominate um Sarah McGee, whom I can see on my screen. Uh, yeah, okay, so if, um, I think some is, is, is muted, so, um, I have Abdul. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, Good hi. evening, everyone. Please, I'm Kassel Mugis, so, you know, you say name, Sia Mugi, from the Bible of Indians, you say, group. I serve as the comms director, and I'm joining live from Tamil, around a bit, thank you. So I I nominate Abdul Karim Ibrahim. Thank you. Say I'm okay. Yes, sir. Some, yeah. some of us we are doomed. We don't even know what you are discussing about. Please. Uh, so we please are this is Abdul Karim Ibrahim. I also just joined, and then I had said, I'm going to meet me. I don't know why he's uh, meeting me. We are doing we are doing introduction for now. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, so when you are done, also nominate someone that you see on your card. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, my name is Abdul Karim Ibrahim. I go by the username Afai Ibrahim, and I belong to the Dagbanli Comedians User Group. Thank you. I, I live in Tamale. Yeah, I, I also nominate uh, Ibn Dagara because I saw him online. I don't know whether he has introduced himself. Or... <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Good evening. Good. Yes, my name is Abdullah Abdurashid, known on the wiki space as Ibn Dagara. I'm with the Dagbani with the Pencil during the call at UGS Tamale. So I go on to nominate. Abdullah used them for say, success. Um, okay, even Dagara, thank you for this opportunity. Um, actually, um, Abdullah received them for um, AKA success, success on the wiki space, not from the Dagbani Wikimedia user group. Karen still live in Tamale. But was born in a great cause. Thank you. Good evening. Hello. Yeah, okay. So good evening. Atam, yeah. My name is Atampuri Jonathan Ayisayana, Pusar Community. Go by the user name, Maria name. Actually, I I joined earlier, but I'm not getting what you people are discussing. If only you can make me know what you are discussing, I'll be happy. Okay, so uh, you haven't started yet. We everybody is joining now, and we are doing introduction. So you can just nominate yourself like you did. Mention your name, <laughs> then uh, where you are joining from. So I think uh, now that so many people have introduced themselves, uh, you can just feel free to unmute yourself and then introduce yourself. So anybody can introduce themselves. We are going to start in a few minutes. So just unmute and then go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, hello all. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, yeah, my name is Abdurashid Yusuf. I am the uh, project manager for Dagban Wikimedia User Group. I am joining the meeting from Tamale, Ghana. Hello, everyone. 
I am Mukaila Suleiman, a member of the Dagbani Wikipedia user group. Uh, I'm currently joining the meeting from Anuba North District. Thank you. Hello. Hello. So I'm Abdullah Abdel Fattah from the Dagbali Wikimedia Group. So I'm joining the call from family. I go by the name Abdel Fattah 18 on the wiki space. Thank you very much. Um, Hello. My name is Abdel Fattah. I go by the username Alaj Barajat, a colleague for the Moro community. I'm currently heading towards the Sonaile. That's where I will be having the meeting. Joining the meeting. Hello, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is Abdul Mumin Idrisu. Um, from uh, Tolong, a lecturer with the University for Development Studies, Nyampala Campus. Uh, I'm with the Dagbane Wikimedia User Group. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you. Um, yeah, who is going next? My name is Abogra Nyorgia, the co lead for Guruni Wikimedia Community. And I'm um, joining from Adabaka in the uh, Greater Accra region. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Musa Fuseni. I go by, by the user name Musa FM. Then um, I'm joining this meeting um, from um, Zijong right now in the Tamale Metropolis. I'm also the co lead for the Kusal Media Community. Thank you. Hey, Zijong, I hope we are safe. <laughs> <laughs> you are safe. <laughs> I didn't say Zijong Cemetery, I said Zijong Community. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Who else? Hi. My name is Ragadao. Ragadao Hassan from the Dagbani Wikimedia Institute Group. I'm also joining from Tamale. Who, who is next? We have two minutes more. So you still have the chance to introduce yourself. I think we are not everybody that is familiar with the other. Like we are just meeting some friends for the first time. So feel free to you know introduce yourself. Hopefully we'll get the chance to connect in person. Anyone? Okay, so if there's no one left, I will go ahead to you know start the meeting. So um, thank you so much once again and thanks for introducing yourself. As I mentioned, um, this is the 23rd birthday celebration of Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia that is widely uh, used and contributed by volunteers across the world. And as a community, we also want to use this as an opportunity to celebrate and also connect and share with our team, community, and everyone that is interested in contributing to Wikipedia, either in their language or the English Wikipedia or any other Wikimedia future project. So, um,
Okay. So Sadiq, I think, Sadiq, I think you are muted. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just listening because I am hearing uh, a really uh, this thing. So I uh, yeah, so I'm sorry <laughs> for that. I I don't don't know. Know. I'd increased my volume and reduced my volume thinking that my, my speaker had a problem. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for coming. So, yeah, uh, uh, all right, thank you for letting me. I mean, um, so yes, the purpose of this uh, meeting is to celebrate Wikipedia's uh, birthday, which is the twenty third birthday. Um, the official date was um, January fifteenth, and on January fifteenth, two thousand and one, Wikipedia was officially launched, which means Wikipedia went live on. January um, 15, 2000, somewhere 2001. And as a community, um, not everybody knows what Wikipedia is actually. Some people joined because you know there was some activity happening around their school or maybe uh, they joined through their language community and they are only familiar with their language Wikipedia. They don't know about the other projects that uh, we currently work on. So, the first project was launched in 2001 um, on 15 January, which is the Wikipedia, the online encyclopedia. Uh, Wikipedia is an online encyclopedia which is contributed by several volunteers across the world, like you and myself. And it is also one of the top websites um, that is visited by people, at least not, uh, it is among the first six websites. I don't know the current position yet, but uh, it's among the first six biggest websites in the world. So when you talk about Google, Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, you can think about Wikipedia, Instagram, and Twitter, and many other websites that we are already familiar with. So every second, millions of people read Wikipedia articles in different languages. So why Wikipedia? Why are we... Uh, interested in contributing to Wikipedia. As you may already be aware, Wikipedia is a free content online encyclopedia, not a search engine, and it's written and maintained by volunteers, all of us, and those that contribute to Wikipedia uh, in different languages or even the English Wikipedia are known as um, Wikipedians. And if you contribute to other sister projects like Wikidata, Wiktionary, and the like, then we can call you Wikimedian. So sometimes many people see Wikimedia, Wikipedia, and they are a bit like confused about which is correct, uh, which of them is correct. And also through open collaboration, uh, we use a wiki-based editing system, which is called the Media Wiki. Uh, with Media Wiki, the entire Wikipedia platform is built on a platform for Media Wiki, and it's like a, a wiki-based uh, editing platform that makes it easier for everyone to contribute to Wikipedia. And then uh, Wikipedia right now is, as I said, one of the largest and most most like uh, read reference work in history. If you look at uh, the the other encyclopedias that we've had in the past, like Britannica and several other encyclopedias, which were, you know, physical books. Wikipedia was the first um, encyclopedia launched online and has become one of the most useful uh, reference work globally. <clears throat> so um, consistently, it is always ranked among the best and most visited websites in the world. And we can't talk about Wikipedia without mentioning the people behind Wikipedia or those who, you know, started Wikipedia. So um, in 2001, January 15th, Wikipedia was launched by Jimmy Wales and Larry Sanger. So Larry Sanger and Jimmy Wales, now we know a lot about Jimmy Wales more than Larry Sanger. And Wikipedia, when Wikipedia was launched, there wasn't any other project or there wasn't Wikimedia Foundation until 2002, somewhere 2002, three that um, the foundation was formed. And Wikimedia Foundation now is uh, an organization that uh, foresee the maintenance of Wikipedia and other sister projects. And it is available in over 326 languages. Wikipedia is available in over 
326 languages officially. And there are several versions of uh, Wikipedia that have been added every now and then. But right now, it has, we can say that Wikipedia is available in over 300 languages. And uh, Wikipedia was founded in the United States of America. And as I said, it was founded by two people, Jimmy Wills and uh, Larry Sanga. And Wikipedia, people will be asking who founds Wikipedia, what is the vision of Wikipedia, why Wikipedia, and why we should contribute to Wikipedia. Yeah. So the first thing is Wikipedia is funded by a non-profit organization and they rely heavily on individual contributions from people like us around the world and also organizations that believe in knowledge sharing and free knowledge. So uh, if you ask me, Wikipedia is not a commercial uh, platform. Sometimes we invite new contributors to Wikipedia, but they don't know what exactly they seek to achieve and they Sometimes I'm sure most of you have, have gone through this kind of experience where uh, your community members ask or new leads ask what uh, they seek to gain as contributors to Wikipedia platform. Am I going to be paid? You know, who uh, is it a job? You know, all of that. So it is important for us to know that Wikipedia um, is not a commercial platform, it's purely volunteer based. All those who contribute to Wikipedia contribute at their own pace, volunteer time. And Wikipedia doesn't make any commercial gain from um, contributions or traffic, uh, web clicks, and any other form of monetization, uh, website monetization. So even though Wikipedia is available online, it is not commercialized or like people don't benefit from what content is added on Wikipedia. So when you are joining, you should know that whatever you are contributing to is for people to read and benefit, but not for someone to make a commercial gain. So that is why we also have different versions for Wikipedia, especially our local languages. And right now, uh, if you look at the traffic, web traffic in the world, uh, US especially, you, it is believed that 26 percent of web traffic comes in US comes from Wikipedia, which means Wikipedia is really huge. Um, and then uh, I think it's followed by Japan, which has about 5.9, and then uh, uh, UK, which is 5.4. So when you look at the analyst, uh, analytics on web um, visits or site visits, you see how many people visit Wikipedia on daily basis. And right now we have over 284 plus active contributors to Wikipedia. When I say active contributors, we have different kinds of contributors to Wikipedia. We have random contributors. We have, uh, you know, people who contribute to Wikipedia once in a while. And those who, maybe when they are looking for information, they see other things that they just, you know, try to fix. Those people are not considered active contributors. Active contributors are those who edit Wikipedia at least on a monthly basis or maybe at least every two months or three months. So if you edit Wikipedia at least once a month or twice a month, you are considered like an active editor. So right now we have um, 284,921 uh, active contributors around the world, which is very, very huge. And we have over 111 million registered accounts on Wikipedia. So the whole, uh, you know, when you look at how many people contribute to Wikipedia, if you look at the number of active contributors against the number of accounts created on Wikipedia, you see that there's a significant um, gap on that, which means a lot of people have accounts, but they are not motivated enough to contribute to Wikipedia. So once you join the community and you find the need to contribute to Wikipedia, we always like thank you, we appreciate your um, contribution and we see you as a valuable uh, uh, member of the committee and we see that you are one of the people who share uh, the vision of Wikipedia and Wikimedia Foundation. So I'm so excited that all of us have made it to this meeting and as active contributors, we continue to contribute relevant content in even our languages on Wikipedia. I don't know if there is, uh, I see it just, 
Okay, so yes, so that is it about Wikipedia. Um, how Wikipedia was founded that twenty three years ago, and then um, another important thing that I wanted to let you know is that Wikipedia, um, is licensed by uh, an organization for a uses license that is being managed by an organization called Creative Commons. So Wikipedia relies on open license. We have different kinds of open license for software and also content. So um, in case of Wikipedia, we have uh, Creative Commons attribution share alike and the most uh, current, the most recent updates on the CC by SA, which is Creative Commons attribution share alike is the 4.0 international. And this license allows users to, you know, use any content from Wikipedia freely without any copyright restriction. So, in other words, um, Wikipedia relies on, you know, open licenses, which means anybody can use content written on Wikipedia by just attribute use, maintaining the same line system, which is CC by SA. Unlike copyright, where you are supposed to write to the owner of the platform to seek their permission before using content. On Wikipedia, you can actually take every content, you can download uh, content as PDF and use it as a learning material everywhere without any copyright restriction. And you can actually you know, make commercial gain from the uh, content that you take from Wikimedia platforms like Wikipedia and Wikidata and the like. So I will talk about other licenses that are used by other sister projects, but for now, we are talking about Wikipedia's um, license, which is CC by SA. Anytime you see CC by SA, it means CC share, SA means CC means Creative Commons attribution. Attribution like you are attributing just like the name implies, you are attributing the content to whoever owns it. And then the term share alike means you are sharing it the same format that you found it. So if you pick um, an article on Wikipedia like the Ghana article and you are sharing the whole of the article somewhere or you are using it to make a book or something, a learning resource, the licensing term that you are supposed to maintain is uh, the CC by SA, which allows other people to use your work. You know, so this is a beautiful thing, and this is what makes Wikipedia very unique. There are other um, paywalls platforms that people are uh, normally allowed to, you know, subscribe or pay a fee to be able to access learning material. So uh, somebody would say that the like the only safest um, platform on the internet left now is Wikipedia, which means everything that you find on Wikipedia is peer reviewed by several contributors. And I'll talk about that later, um, how we contribute to Wikipedia. I know many of you already have an understanding of Wikipedia, but for the uh, purpose of those who are totally new to Wikipedia, um, I will take my time to highlight that also, how we contribute to uh, Wikipedia. So um, the goal of this meeting is to appreciate the platform, which has been like a great resource for all of us. I don't know how many of you here have never used Wikipedia in your school um, activities, like uh, research and uh, you know assignments and stuff like that. But Wikipedia around the world has been a great resource for many students, professors, lecturers, and even individuals and platforms like Google, um, Amazon also leverage the power of Wikipedia to create like products that are useful to society. Uh, we can talk about uh, Amazon Alexa, which is like an AI uh, tool or um, application that allows you to be able to interact with um, artificial intelligence um, to get like solutions or information about things that relates to your environment and everything that you need to know about uh, your daily life. So Alexa and Amazon, Alexa 
is built by Amazon and they are one of the platforms that uses Wikipedia a lot. And also talk about uh, Google, as all of us are already aware. As a matter of fact, a lot of people think that uh, Wikipedia is like Google <laughs> as a search engine, but because when they search any content on uh, Google, the information that they usually see or whatever is ranked at the top is usually the Wikipedia page or article of that particular um, topic. So people think that, oh, Wikipedia is like Google. So, um, so Google also um, relies heavily on Wikipedia to index their website, which is why um, every year they try to support Wikipedia. And there's a thin line between Wikipedia and Google. So we work, they are work cut across it, uh, each other and they, they like, they work hand in hand, they complement each other a lot. There are many other um, tools. Now we talk about chat GPT, all the information, most of the information that you see are also as a result of the content that is curated by volunteers on Wikipedia. So there, there's so much that we can talk about when it comes to Wikipedia and application builders. Um, also rely on Wikipedia to create um, content for their uh, software and tools around the world. Um, yeah, so that was it about Wikipedia. Uh, I don't know if you have any question about Wikipedia and um, you know why we contribute to Wikipedia. So the next question is why do we contribute to Wikipedia? Why do we contribute to Wikipedia? Before I answer that, I would like to give um, someone the opportunity to tell us why they contribute to Wikipedia as an individual. Why do you contribute to Wikipedia? So this is an open question. Um, I was saying it here. Why? So why do you contribute to Wikipedia? Can anyone open their mic to tell us why they contribute to Wikipedia as, a, as an individual? Why do you contribute to Wikipedia? Nobody? Yes, uh, I, would, I would say uh, I contribute to Wikipedia just to have fun. And also to educate uh, people what I also have at the end. Okay. All right. So he says he continues to Wikipedia for fun and also add knowledge on the platform. Any other? Which is good. Any other? Oh, so we don't know why we continue to Wikipedia. <laughs> Uh, this is Munkaila Sulemana. Uh, me, I, contrib uh, I contribute to Wikipedia to make some information available for the uh, next generation. Also, I want to, like some people, right. they will have to find some information so it will be uh, easier for them to assess it or to have it. That's why I'm contributing to Wikipedia. Thank you. Uh, this is Sabine Dabara. Hello. Hello. So we will pick from Ibn Dagara first, and then we can yeah. make knowledge freely accessible to everyone on the internet. So that at any point in time that you need information, you just have to the Wikipedia site. It's freely accessible to you. You won't pay any time before you have access to it. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Thank you for sharing. Yes. Hey. Hello. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, Afa Ibrahim from the Dagba uh, Wikimedians User Group. I contribute to Wikipedia uh, due to uh, two reasons. The first one is to preserve my language and my culture. And then the second one is to share knowledge with everybody across the globe. Thank you. Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hello. We Hi. Can hear you. Uh, this is Joachim Yurikan from Dagare Wikipedia community. 
Uh, I contribute to Wikipedia Foundation for our language because looking at uh, things that have been hard for us, especially uh, we those studying the language, there's no material. And we are much grateful and happy for uh, what um, Wikipedia have brought to us. Now, it will be very easy for not we, but our predecessors who are coming, will be able to access, have their knowledge, everything from Wikipedia. They will get every information from the Wikipedia. We're just grateful for what Wikipedia have been doing for us. And also to preserve our culture and so on. Great, great, great. So I like that you know, preserve our culture. All right, I see Dian Shitomo. Yes, um, thank you so much. For me, I contribute to Wikipedia for two reasons. One, to preserve the language and also to give back to society because um, whilst we're in school, it was Wikipedia that assisted us to finish our assignments and pass our exams. So it's a way of giving back to society for me. Great one also, uh, giving back to society and also preserving our language. So culture and language. Language is culture, culture is language. Okay, any more? Well, all of you have given, yeah, I see Musa. Please go ahead. Mustaka, can you unmute and speak? Your hand is up. Musa, you are muted. I don't know if you are talking. Okay, so let's move on. Thank you so much for sharing. So I also contribute to Wikipedia because I want to one preserve my language. I want to contribute knowledge back to society. I want to preserve uh, my culture. I want to share information with the rest of the world. So that's one of the few reasons why a lot of people contribute to Wikipedia. They just feel like, uh, because there's a platform that has been created for us. And once you have a platform and you have the time, you should be able to like uh, contribute to maintaining the platform. So this is what inspires most people. Uh, I am happy that I did not hear um, <laughs> So anyone talking about like writing to be compensated or I, I'm writing on Wikipedia because I want to be paid or I'm writing on Wikipedia because I want to be recognized because these are some of the things that we don't do on Wikipedia. Um, yeah, I also see another in the chat to make information available to a, go a global audience, which is also great. Yes, that's true. So we don't write to, when you write articles on Wikipedia, you don't see unlike the normal um, web platforms or blogs or websites, news uh, portals where journalists or you know writers or publishers write content and then they, they write at the bottom of the content that or this content was written by this person and that. So this is not what we do. Just a second. So this is not what we do as Wikimedians. We write and our content has been uh, reviewed by many other people around the world. So that's another um, interesting thing we should know about Wikipedia. Wikipedia is contributed by volunteers around the world and nobody owns an article. When I say nobody owns an article, it doesn't mean that when you write an article, we don't know who writes it, uh, who wrote it, and we don't know um, how it was written. But what I mean is that when you write an article or you start a tab, it is publicly available and accessible by so many people. Anybody can come in and contribute to that article. There's no restriction as long as they are contributing meaningfully to it. So any content that is published on Wikipedia is subjected to peer reviewed by several volunteers around the world. So it doesn't matter who starts the article. Uh, the good thing is that after publishing the article, anybody can come in and then fix things and improve the article, which is very good. So this makes Wikipedia more um, 
even more interesting because we before Wikipedia we didn't know about platforms that people write articles or write content and then get the um, publication reviewed by random people or several people or almost everyone before it, it is you know approved or let's just say before it is accepted so in the case of wikipedia i think what makes wikipedia very unique is the fact that uh, it is a wiki wiki is uh, a platform that is editable by everyone so it means several people can be on the same page contributing to it so this makes wikipedia very unique because you know it allows people to collaborate on articles, it allows people to review each other's work, it allows people to debate, you know, discuss, and then raise arguments about topics, fact check each other, improve content based on uh, facts, and they also rely on uh, reliable and credible sources to improve or um, authenticate the platform, the content that they, they, they put on the platform. So. Wikipedia, another unique thing, as I said, is the fact that people, several people can review each other's work. So if you publish a, 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 an article on a, a website or uh, a news portal, it is probably going to be edited by one individual or maybe two. But in the case of Wikipedia, it is accessible to anyone in the world. They can edit it, make corrections, and review content that you put on Wikipedia. So this makes it quite unique that we don't know of any platform like this. And it is important for us to appreciate the fact that we are now able to edit Wikipedia in our own language, which is even more exciting. So as I said, Wikipedia is available in several other languages, um, including the languages that we have in Ghana. And it means that we are also contributing to digitizing our languages using Wikipedia. If Wikipedia is read by several people or widely used by several people in the world, and you have your language added to Wikipedia. I think it's a plus. Uh, it's also a way to like uh, preserve your language or document your culture using the open platform. And one other important thing we should note about Wikipedia is that Wikipedia uh, is not your primary source of information. So if you are joining Wikipedia committee or you are a member of this committee and you don't know exactly um, what the platform seeks to achieve. Sometimes you um, you want to use Wikipedia content on other platforms or maybe on your assignment as a student, and then you hear a lot of um, people saying that Wikipedia is not trusted, Wikipedia is not credible, uh, Wikipedia cannot be used for academic purpose. These are all like misconceptions, I must say, and these are some of the reasons why we have committees like ours to educate people and also let people understand how Wikipedia is used. So the first thing, if somebody approach you and tells you that uh, Wikipedia is not credible, uh, you need to know the reason why they are saying it's not credible. And from my uh, experience, I think um, a lot of people feel like if anybody can create an account and jump onto Wikipedia with, without any qualification, and they are able to write content on Wikipedia, uh, make them feel like a bit skeptical about the credibility of the content that they put there. So many people will ask you um, if you have people reviewing your articles as a language committee. You know, these are some of the reasons why people say that Wikipedia is not credible. So anytime your lecturer or somebody um, tells you that Wikipedia is not credible, I think you should um, take it. A, like a step to find out why they are saying it is not credible. And most of them would say that because it is edited by several people. So they make, it makes it look like, okay, you know, if someone like me can go onto Wikipedia and mark, you know, make any contribution, it means, you know, they cannot trust the content or something like that. But they don't know that in quotes, not every stupid person can edit Wikipedia. They are, you can tell them that Wikipedia is, um, governed by um, policies, uh, rules, and regulations. And also, Wikipedia has its own um, guidelines that is um, 
you know, maintained by the community. So you can also let them know that even though you are an individual without any PhD or something like that, you still have uh, a way of contributing to Wikipedia as long as it aligns with the policies and guidelines of Wikipedia. For example, writing articles on Wikipedia must meet the uh, notability criteria, which is to say that the topic or whatever article you are writing must be um, uh, notable enough. It should have uh, a significant coverage by trusted and reliable sources. You know, when I say trusted and reliable source, they are talking about the online websites, the graphics, magazines, and peer-reviewed journals, and also academic books from universities and professors like that. So this makes it quite, um, you know, credible if you use references like that. So every sentence or every information you put on Wikipedia, you have to back it with a claim, or you have to back it with a reference. Any claim you make on Wikipedia should be backed by a reference, right? So it means people don't go there to write whatever they want. They actually write what they see online. And I already mentioned that Wikipedia is not like, a, uh, how do I say? Wikipedia is not your primary source of information because it relies on other sources. So Wikipedia, you can say that Wikipedia is like a secondary source of information. Wikipedia relies on other sources. So when you read everything on Wikipedia and you want to use it on your assignment, inside your assignment or maybe any other um, work that you are using Wikipedia content for, um, always make sure to check the uh, primary references. For example, if you say, they say that Tamale is the capital of Northern region, um, there's definitely going to be like a reference that says that Tamale is actually the capital of Northern region. And you should always go to that particular uh, reference to get the right information um, or whatever content you are looking for. And then make sure you cite that particular uh, source. So if, for example, Tamale is the capital of Northern region, it's found or was written on Joy by Joy Online, I have to go to, I will see that every article and line has like uh, numbers, one, two, three. So just click on it, it will take you to the reference section, and then you'll be able to see the source, open it in a new tab, and then you read whatever information you are looking for, and then you use it to cite your assignment or work. But if it's totally wrong, and this is where they get it right, when they say Wikipedia, you cannot use Wikipedia in your assignment. Your professor tells you that you cannot use Wikipedia in your assignment. This is where they are, they get everything right. Yes, you cannot use it because if you write that Tamale is the capital of Northern region, and then you say source Wikipedia, or then, you know, Wikipedia has so many, the page on Tamale alone has a lot of references. And that particular section may have like two or three references. So which one exactly are you talking about? And we all are already aware that Wikipedia, as I said, relies on other sources. So you should never say source Wikipedia. We've seen a lot of even big um, media houses use this, which is totally wrong to say that um, I found this information or source Wikipedia. I've seen a lot of that and I'm sure most of you have also seen that. So that is the reason why you cannot use Wikipedia in your assignment because you cannot say source Wikipedia, but it doesn't mean that you cannot use Wikipedia in your assignment. So always, try to educate uh, people that you can use Wikipedia. Wikipedia is the safest place to find um, your answers to everything you are looking for. People, somebody say Wikipedia has everything. So Google knows everything and Wikipedia has everything. So if you go to use, you are going to use content on uh, Wikipedia, you can read, navigate through different articles to get your information but do not say source Wikipedia. Then you get it wrong, but always go to read everything, keep the content, keep the information, but cite the original source. It is totally okay to you know, um, copy the text, because the text is not directly um, copied and pasted from the original source. So what is written on Wikipedia is 
as I said, it's subjected to change. So it's written by somebody's voice. And you already know that the person doesn't have the copyright to the answer. So how do you even know if somebody says they say Tamale is the capital of Northern Ghana? You can copy exactly that text and use it in your assignment, but do not say source Wikipedia. Go to the reference and then cite it from that. Aspect. I don't know if this makes sense. So you can copy content from Wikipedia, pages, um, uh, phrases, um, tables, figures on Wikipedia, but do not say source Wikipedia. I know this makes sense. So that's one of the reasons why Wikipedia is trusted by several people around the world. The, then the next thing I would like to say is why do Wikipedia allows, yes, another one they say that Wikipedia is not good. Wikipedia is not good. Why is Wikipedia not good? Why is Wikipedia not good? Because they, also, they think that, um, you know, the same way they think that because it's edited by volunteers. But what is more um, credible than having uh, hundreds and thousands of people reviewing each other's work? And, you know, accepting each other's work and verifying the work that other people have done and allowing it to stay on a platform like Wikipedia. When you compare this to uh, the knowledge of, let's say, a professor or somebody who has written a book, you know, it's, it's always like a, a more, a more knowledge, like somebody having their own, you know, set of knowledge and they write a book and then we all come to accept it and then we feel like, okay, this is the best book we can ever find. But what if there's an update or maybe a new discovery or in the case of let's just say science and math, for example, and many years ago there were different ways of solving some math problems and now people have found different several other ways to go by the answers, like you find solutions, certain questions but not using the original uh, formulas, you know. So if it happens like that and it's written by somebody, how do we make this change? How do we give that um, uh, answer or solution to people who randomly access information? So the beauty of it is that when there's something like this, somebody will get First, you could go one, two, three, get to this. Now you can do four, five, six, to get to that same place without consulting anybody. But in the case of single asset books or publications that are written by the professors, you know, the so-called knowledgeable people, if there's anything like that, even after the person passing, if the person is no more, how do you make that correction? How do you fix that? So to be that allows us to have the up-to-date information of topics to make corrections on things that are added to the platform. So as well as other people are looking at it to be like, oh, people come together or people just write anything on it. We as media see it as a way to, you know, standardize contributions on Wikipedia, making sure that whatever is written on Wikipedia is um, verified by other people by just checking to see, okay, you said this and that, I think it is like this. And there's also like always a, a room for discussion. There's always a room for arguments and stuff like that. Yeah, I think <clears throat> this um, is all that I wanted to <clears throat> share with you as part of the Wikipedia um, 23rd birthday celebration. And I would like to, six o'clock already, I would like to pause here and pick um, your questions uh, so if you want to ask any question, you can just unmute and ask, or you drop that in the chat. And then um, the next thing is for you to send your birthday wishes. And in doing that, you can just put on your video, say your wishes for Wikipedia. Thank you so much. So I'm asking for questions.
we have no questions, that's fine. If you have questions, yes, let me know. And then um aside from that, okay, let me yeah, so you can just either a question or a birthday, which I don't want them to be, you know. We should have them sit with so the questions first and then the wishes. So let me know if you have any questions for now. Other than that, we'll just move to the next step. Once again, I appreciate your time for joining us. And let me see. Yeah, so feel free to unmute. question okay so um the next thing is for us to send our birthday wishes so you can say in a minute or two like one minute is okay so tell us your just say something to Wikipedia you can turn on your camera and then just say is there a happy birthday in there or your wish for Wikipedia Okay, so OJ. Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So um I would like to wish um Wikipedia and all Wikipedians a, a happy birthday. And um may the next year or the years ahead be fruitful um, for all of us. Thank you. So my wishes are that um, next year by this time, now we have, uh, it seems every year we have a new language being approved. So the past three years, we had Dagbani, Gruni, and um, Dagari approved. My wishes for all of the communities are that next year by this time, we'll have um, more languages added to Wikipedia, um, Hello. added to the over 200 languages. And also my wish is that next year by this time, all of us would, you know, make more uh, contributions and contribute significantly to our various languages. And most especially get the opportunity to be more involved. When I say more involved, like getting the benefits of volunteerism, getting the opportunity to be connected to the global community. And like, I want to see my next year wish for all of you, or this year, sorry, this year, the wish is that all of you will get the opportunity to go to Wikimania and Wiki Endeavor and stuff like that. So, anybody? Yeah, okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I would like to uh, take this opportunity to wish uh, Wikipedia, a happy 23rd birthday. Um, it's growing older and older. I wish for Wikipedia is for many more years. Keep growing stronger and stronger and then expanding wider and wider. And then um, I also like to use this opportunity to say thank you to Wikipedia for giving us uh, the minority languages, especially the Mabia languages, uh, for giving us a platform free of charge to leverage on to um, digitize our various languages, uh, the Mabia languages, and then uh, uh, promoting those languages. Um, but for Wikipedia, some of the languages we have there wouldn't have been heard of or seen on the cyberspace. So it is by virtue of um, the platform Wikipedia has given us, that is why we have also found space on the digital space. So we use this, this opportunity to say a very big thank you to Wikipedia for 
given us that um, which that it keeps growing bigger and bigger and expanding wider and wider to include more and more uh, minoritized languages. Thank you. Good birthday, Wikipedia. Yeah, so it's from me, live from uh, from Zujum. Who is going next? Maka wala hai. Nera se hasi krim. Okay, yes, um, yeah. I just wanted to wish we could be there. No. I can't hear it from my end. Oh. We can't hear anything, the letter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, you I'm coming. DJ Garawa, DJ Garawa, can you hear anything? <laughs> okay. Tito. Tito. Hello? Yes. Yeah, please can you hear me? Yes, I just yes, wanted yes. to wish um, Wikipedia a happy birthday and also um, wish everyone here a happy new year. Perhaps if I have not wished you that, especially to the Groner Wikimedia community members, uh, we, we like the enthusiasm with which you contribute and we just want to keep encouraging you Let's put Grone on the digital space. Uh, let's tell the world about the language and the Mabia language in all. Happy birthday with you. Thank you so much. Can you hear now? No. Oh. Director, we can't hear anything. Perhaps you have to sing yeah, it for please. us. If you can sing it for us. That's strange. How come? So if you can just sing it for us. Why, you bet. 
<laughs> okay, I think we can all sing it together. All of us will. But can you hear now? Can you hear now? No. You can't hear me. No. No. It's only your voice we can hear, but we can't hear the music okay, play. Okay. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> If anybody wants to, um, you know, uh, think, or, I think I will invite my dear. I will invite my can lead that. I will in trouble. Yes. So if we want to sing together, I think we can do that. Oh. Yes. Let's sing together. Okay, yes. so let's all one, two, three. So I will just all of you are not happy. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. So, those that are not dressed were like, not dressed before. Some people are still muted, and their videos are off. <laughs> so, turn on your video. Okay. Then on your face, so we start. Yeah. 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 Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Wow, you people are not even know what. Okay, let's start again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy So I'm going to take this the first one. I'll take another one. If you want to turn on your camera, you can do that. Uh, wow. Well, let me see. Hold on. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, three. Six. Hello. Thank you so much. And thanks for being here. See you on the other side. Have a good night. But, and Black Stars is playing today. We wish them the best. Today's match is not recommended for pregnant women and lactating mothers. 